Hey guys, what's good? It's your boy Puka. This is my eboard collection. Let's just first off start off with the street build. I say it's a street build, it's like a semi off road, on road street build. MBS deck. Now this thing is solid. I've got a uh, inertia fox box in there. Won't mount set up. But where are the batteries on this build? There is no batteries on this build. Because see that? The battery connects into there and it runs all the way up my leg into my backpack. Backpack here, and this way I just literally pull it and extend it out and pull it down to my leg as I need it, and then push it back in my bag when I don't need it. It's an alright little setup if you want, you know, especially if you've got like a drop deck like me. This one is a seriously, seriously like big drop, so there's not much ground clearance for think anything to go on the underneath. Didn't want anything on the top, so I was left with a bit of predicament. So I decided to do that. Not a bad idea, uh, to be honest, I did actually get the idea off Pavel, so big shout out to Pavel on that one. Uh, Pavel and I have got the same clips, reason being is uh, Pavel wanted these clips making. Um, I designed them for him, 3D printed them. Uh, yeah, they don't do too bad, I actually like them, it holds up to the job. Could do with a little bit of uh, modification, maybe a bit of a swivel on it, so if the board shoots off in front. Uh, there's no risk of actually snapping that off, but I've not had that problem yet. But I leave Pavel has, so that's probably one. Uh, old, uh, it's probably one. Old skate, old. Oh, I can't even think of the word. Alt, alter, alteration. Uh, yeah, that'll be the alteration I'll be doing for that. That's got a big, massive turning G motor on the back there. Big aero drive. That's a big can. And it's a, it's a pretty quick board. I've not rode it too much because it scares the life out of me. Um, I'm too used to now having AT set up. So street wheels, especially these, because there's not much surface contact with these wheels. Um, they're not made for like full on just being on the street. So if you do get a little bit wet, it can get a little bit slippery. The next board that we did there, uh, we'll go on to this one here. This is one I did for Kayla. So this is me uh, girlfriend's board. But as I say, this was just one of my first decks that I did. Uh, I upgraded the, upgraded the motor, so I just basically threw everything on this for Kayla to ride. And that's Kayla's board. Now you've got to remember, all these are budget boards. You know, I've made these on a, like a really tight budget. This was my main board. With that back end set up on it there. But I've swapped it over to this new two of a kind carbon fibre deck. Uh, there's only two like this in the world that are cut out like this. Full carbon fibre. I mean, it's so thin. The deck is like so thin. And it's got so much flex on it. So I'll be showing you more about that uh, board in an up and coming video. But one of the things I did want to show you is on this one, I decided to obviously take the back end off this, my regular ride, which is this one, and put it on that one. But if you notice, I've got a new back end on it. So let's just roll it over and have a look at the back end. Do they look familiar? Do you know what they are? The hoverboard motors from one of them little tornado Segway things. It's literally the wheels are from one of them. Now you can get a truck from China, uh, it's about 50 quid. Uh, depending where you shop, you might be able to get it a little bit cheaper. And the truck has like a clamping system and a shaft that comes right out of the motor. And you can basically just strap any hub motors to these trucks you know these trucks are like what 50 quid the, ho the, the, the hoverboards I probably paid like 20 quid for them broke it's usually just like the batteries discharge you just need to give it a bit of a jump charge but yeah took the wheels off that got that axle and now strapped it to that back end so now I've got a hub motor all terrain board now it's not gonna be like going at crazy speeds this board the main thing about this board is the way the wheels and the motor is actually wired up. It's wired up in a formation where it gives more torque and less top speed because it's uh, designed for a hoverboard motor. So if I get like stuck in any mud and stuff like this, this should really just 
tr like trudge me through it. So I've still got to do a bit of testing to this one. I've not actually ridden this one yet because I've just swapped over to that back end there. But yeah, hub motor setup. I believe you could literally do this setup here. If you wanted to build one of these yourself, you could do it for 250 quid. Uh, I believe 250 quid you should be able to do it for. So what, what, we'll just price it up. I paid, what, 40 quid for the board. We've got the axle there. Uh, sorry, the truck. The truck was 50 quid, so we're 90 quid in there. Paid 20 quid for the hoverboard. That's what, 120. And then got some batteries for it. I got one battery with the hoverboard. And then batteries are only 25 quid each, and he only takes two of them in series. Uh, sorry, in parallel to run this sufficiently. So what we're looking at there... 150 quid. This is like a super cheap build. I mean, if you are interested in doing, you know, if anybody is interested in doing a build and they just really don't know where to start, I am more than happy to answer anybody's questions and guide anybody through a simple build like this because, you know, I, I didn't really have that help there. I just had a couple of videos to go off YouTube, but I am literally any, I'm offering my help to anybody who wants to build these boards. I will literally talk you through step by step, and I don't want anything for it. I don't want nothing. I just want people to be out there and enjoying it. Uh, there's people out there who've never ridden skateboards before, and they have a go, and it's like, you know, it's like a brand new thing to them, and they, they do realize the buzz that these things give you. You know, there's nothing, there's, there's not a better feeling than being out riding down a beautiful path or next to a nice canal way somewhere like that and just 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 the feeling of freedom just carving about it. it's it's so nice it's so nice so one board two board three boards all cheap budget boards i am literally the budget board guy i make broke look good that is what i do god damn this thing is beautiful oh where do i start with it obviously it's all fully carbon fiber the flex on it when I stand on this and flex I will be getting some videos of me riding this so keep tuned for the next video because I will be showing more of me riding these and testing the boards out further so you can actually see what kind of performance we're getting from the boards but oh, god damn <laughs> god damn so I've got the batteries in a pelly case uh, well, it's a kind of pelly case I've not actually fully put it on properly yet I still need to mount it but I've just let put it on there for show but I'll open it up show you my batteries inside and it literally fits perfectly perfectly these zippy compacts they're 8000 milliamp hour 5s batteries so obviously two of them in series makes up to 10s the esc that i've got in here is the fox box and the fox box is actually rated uh the, sorry the flip guy flip sky desk is uh rated for 12s so i'm probably going to jump up to 12s uh, reason being is it'll it'll just help pull me more you know I'm a bit of a chunky dude I'm, I'm short but I've got a bit of a bit of a keg on me <laughs> so it does sometimes it it can it can struggle if you like like going through thick thick mud but as I say I've not really tuned this this board up yet to give a higher amp draw uh, on start off I think that's probably what I need but yeah you can see the batches there ESC's in there well, vest, should I say? Motors on the back. Yeah, this thing is a beast. So hopefully in the next video you will see more of me riding these. I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you my quick collection and the massive response I got on this board after building it. Uh, there's, there's so many people liking it. I'm in a couple of DIY electric vehicle groups and I've had such a massive response over it. It was like, just, like well over 200 people just over the course whilst I was asleep. I've liked this build. Uh, I must admit, it is a sexy build, and I hope to build more carbon fiber boards in the future. But yeah, uh, that's my collection. I hope you liked this video. If this video give, did give you a bit of an insight onto how to build electric skateboards and that, please like and uh, like the video, share and subscribe because, as I say, it always helps. But yeah, if anybody needs any help building any boards or anything like that. Just give me a holler. Uh, if you know, if, if if you've not got me on Facebook and you're watching this on YouTube, give me a shout and I'll send you uh, my YouTube profile over here and we can add each other on Facebook and I'll I'll, I'll help you step by step to getting your build side. So yeah, hope you like this video, guys. Please like this video, share and subscribe. And as always, guys, peace out.
actually, no, I'm going to wait 30 seconds because this minute, this video has been nine and a half minutes of me waffling on, so <laughs> I may as well stretch this video out to 10 minutes. What can we look at? What can we look at? Get a nice shot of the carbon fiber. Ooh. Real carbon fiber. She is beautiful though. She is absolutely beautiful. Right. Catch you in the next one then, guys. Peace.